up the both fighters into the ring and introduce him fighting out of the blue corner. Please give it a warm welcome to James Ray McDermott. He's weighing at 58 kilograms and stands at 5 feet 8. He's fighting out of St. Albans and he's had 8 wins and 5 losses. And please welcome his opponent. will be two minutes long each. Here we go with round one of Farrandin Caraglan versus Duncan McDermott. It's a 58 kilo Mai Tai bout sponsored by Reshape Personal Training. Both men to the center of the ring now in a stare down. Round one. Duncan McDermott in the blue, Farrandin Caraglan in the red, fighting out of Team Chu. Both men weighing in tonight at 58 kilos and looking sharp to start with. Duncan McDermott's taking the lead, pushing the fight, moving things forward. Caraglan happy to sit back on the ropes for now and counter attack with strong kicks on the defensive. But big round kicks coming in from both men and they tie up. Referee brings them back to the centre of the ring and McDermott continues, continues his onward offensive, moving Caraglan back against the ropes. Now, we don't know if this is Caraglan's game plan or not, but it seems that McDermott seems very comfortable in this kind of fight. Might be that the, the pace and the impetus has to change for Caraglan if he's going to upset the rhythm of McDermott. Strong inside leg kick from, Mc, uh, from McDermott there. Again, pushing that pace, moving back against the ropes. Caraglan needs to do a bit more here. Points being scored by McDermott, but not much done from Caraglan so far. Team Chu have a great many fighters on show this evening. Caraglan, one of them, not yet to show his potential in the fight. Got to feel that he needs to show a little bit more here. Round one thus far definitely has gone to McDermott, who's switching nicely, pinning Caraglan back and striking with some lovely straight shots down the middle. Caraglan coming back with a few of himself, but no real damage done. Strong inside leg kick there from McDermott. Again, covered with that left leg kick by Caraglan and a big right hand over the top catches Caraglan from McDermott. We need to get a near game changer here from Caraglan because the first round certainly has not gone his way. Here we go with round two, Duncan McDermott versus Faradin Caraglan. McDermott in the blue, Caraglan in the red, fighting out of Team Chu. Now both men starting the round with some impetus and a lovely throw there. I feel McDermott probably came up tops on that one. Strong left leg round kick there from Caraglan. But again, happy to fight on the counter. Needs a few more techniques in his arsenal if he's going to score the points much needed against this onwards onwards offensive fighter in McDermott. Good movement from both men. Using the whole ring and an in strong inside leg kick there from McDermott. 
A little bit of a tap on the head there. No real damage dealt. Big right hand just grazes the right cheek of Caraglan from McDermott. Caraglan needs to be careful here. He's inviting pressure and it's not looking good for him. Both men tie up. Strong knee there from Caraglan. Oh, a big left hand catches McDermott on the way in. And again, another straight left right through the middle of the guard. Fantastic timing there from Caraglan. He should utilise that shot a few more times. Looks like he's aiming for it. That straight left down the middle. If McDermott comes in. McDermott, McDermott counters with a straight right of his own. It's battle of the crosses here. A better second round for Caraglan, but not quite enough to tip it on the edge. Here we go with round three, McDermott versus Caraglan. McDermott in the blue, Caraglan in the red, fighting out of Team Chu. McDermott fighting out of St Albans. This bout again sponsored by Reshape Personal Training. A good catch and a good sweep there from Caraglan. Faces up to McDermott, getting a little bit more pumped, straight left and then an outside leg kick. Caraglan starting to turn on here in round three. Got a little bit more impetus moving forwards and some real fire. Attacking McDermott, but McDermott comes back with a strong combination of his own and a straight left and then an inside leg from Caraglan and strong knees. This third round certainly is the spark we've been waiting for in this fight. Caraglan's coming back with a lot more impetus looking to take this fight to McDermott. Up to this point and McDermott has been dictating the pace but it doesn't seem that way for much longer. Caraglan back on the defensive. You've got to feel that, that he probably did more damage early in this round with his little onslaught as he moved forward and really took it to McDermott. He doesn't want to invite pressure back onto himself. More straights from both men. Another straight left followed by a hook and an inside leg kick there from Caraglan. McDermott tries to follow up and Caraglan moves nicely to his left and avoids. Both men moving nicely. Caraglan settled into this fight later on. Follows with two straight lefts to the head there. McDermott needs to guard against that shot. Seems to be getting caught with it most times. Small combination there following with a left hand uppercut. No real damage dealt but a nice combination through and through scoring points for Caraglan and Team Chu. Strong kicks from both men. Oh, a big left and a big right there. Both men caught on the chin. Lovely combination from Caraglan. Straight kick. A good round three. Caraglan probably took that one. A little bit more impetus from him. Round four of a potential five in this Super Mai Tai Championship bout between Duncan McDermott from St Almonds in the blue and Farandin Caraglan from Team Chu in the red. I've got McDermott two, Caraglan one on my unofficial scorecard here. Caraglan taking the last round, McDermott taking the first two.
Hagland changed his game plan in the last round, took it to McDermott a little bit more and upset the pace of this fight. Let's see if he can do the same thing or if McDermott is going to continue to push the pace and push Caraglan back. So far, it looks like Caraglan has changed his impetus slightly. Good, a good straight leg kick there, followed by a straight left again. That shot has worked well for Caraglan, Caraglan so far. Shame he didn't discover it in the first two rounds. Nice front push kick, followed by an outside leg kick, but McDermott stays strong, locks that leg and doesn't move. Oh, a big left hand over the top punch there from Caraglan, catches McDermott. And the two men settle back down into a pace. That straight left working well for Caraglan. McDermott has no counter for it thus far, gets caught, gets caught again. Both men into the clinch. This is an interesting one, McDermott needs to find a counter to that straight left. And Caraglan certainly needs to hope that McDermott can't come up against anything else because that's the only thing that's really worked consistently for him in this fight. Front push kick is keeping McDermott at bay. And a big left leg round kick. Exciting round four thus far. Big shots coming in from both men. Caraglan fighting Southpaw at the minute. McDermott hasn't got an answer for him. And a big sweep there to end the round. Here we go with round number five of McDermott in the blue versus Caraglan in the red. McDermott, orthodox fighter. Caraglan fighting southpaw and making life difficult for McDermott in these last two rounds. It's all going to tell here in round five. I have the, uh, both men equal with two rounds apiece on my unofficial scorecard. Lovely combination from Caraglan pushing back with a front push kick against the ropes, catching McDermott square in the solar plexus and they tie up again. Good knees from McDermott. Both men just need to find their distance right here. Caraglan's punching a little bit too close. McDermott needs to make sure he keeps that distance between him also. Both men much more dangerous fighters at a certain distance. Big shots from McDermott, but nothing catching Caraglan clean, everything glancing off the gloves. This is a real grudge match. Both men digging in, de digging in deep in this last round. Neither has much left, but both desperately want the win. McDermott back to his usual moving forwards and Caraglan comes back nothing doing though hands dropping in this fifth round both men need to be wary one second a dropped hand can end a fight big combination from McDermott but nothing doing nothing catching clean on Caraglan Caraglan's moving forwards but with nothing nothing behind he's not moving in behind any punches great fights from both men
fight up the red corner. 